What's going on everybody? I'm Jiffy Nano and today I have a quick guide where you can farm the Plasma Coil. The Plasma Coil is a legendary Malawan SMG that only drops in shock and radiation from the Arms Race game mode in the Designer's Cut DLC. This weapon fires in very long bursts of splash damage orbs that deal above average damage and is an extremely solid SMG that can be used on any character but really shines on Amara and Moe's due to their splash damage bonuses. The Plasma Coil can only be acquired from the Arms Race game mode and must be extracted before you can use it. It can drop from random enemies, the Heavyweight Harker, but as a dedicated loot source being these chests right over here. If you beeline it to these chests every run, you have a higher chance of getting a Plasma Coil and the Dark Army. Usually I remember how to get to these chests by looking for this triangular section of the map. Unfortunately, this is not necessarily a quick or an easy farm. Arms Race can be somewhat challenging and kind of annoying, but you don't have to kill the boss to collect your Plasma Coil, although if you do kill him, it does give you an extra chance of getting one to drop. If you do manage to get one to drop, you'll have to extract it from one of these icons on the map before you can use it. If you extract it after the boss fight or in the middle of the match, it will show up in your bank back in Sanctuary, but if you die with it still in your inventory, it is gone forever. This can make farming for these pretty tedious and punishing, not to mention I've gone several runs in a row getting nothing of value from these chests, so I hope you have better luck than I do. The best annoyance for the Plasma Coil are of course dependent on your character and build, but the best general annoyance in my opinion are next to mags so you can deal elemental damage other than rad and shock, ASC splash, and 100% bonus damage on ASC. Consecutive hits can work, but because it fires in bursts and has to charge before you can fire it, you can lose that bonus pretty easily. So let me know what you guys think of the Plasma Coil in the comments. I definitely think it's one of the best SMGs in the game currently, and it does some serious work on Moza and Amara because they have splash-based builds. While it's not bad on Flak and Zane, it just doesn't really sing the same on those two characters. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like. If not, leave a dislike. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so you see my future uploads. If you want to talk RPGs, looter shooters, and other things, check out my live stream over on Twitch. Link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.